Oh, I have not done this of uh, these screening things. I don't know what it is exactly called. Mm. Okay, uh, today I'm here logging to my AWS. Uh, it's a fresh new AWS account. Uh, I just now, you know, uh, signed up for it and it was very easy the sign up process. And uh, let's see what else you can do. Uh, here I'll try to launch a virtual machine first. Uh, it's also called EC2, right? Uh, I hope everyone is uh, uh, if you are a beginners uh, like when you have a fresh new AWS the first f the f very first thing you do is launch a virtual machine this thing can be automated too right from Ansible uh, you can provision or you can create a machines as you like right so this is how you create a machine for you it's like you are having your own uh, laptop you know but it's in a cloud right so what kind of system do you want here are the series of options what do you want right see red hats windows mm -hmm. and if you see this one free tire eligible I'm using this as a free you know I, I will not be paying for AWS for uh, what I want to do right uh, I will there are a few things you need to know like uh, what are the things you can do in free like it will offer 750 hours of uses every month right you should not be crossing that limit then you can use it for free you can create windows machine but I'll be going through Ubuntu machines I'll select this now let's see here uh, these are the types of machine you can build right this is general purpose and this is a free tire eligible means I can create only this right I cannot create other instance uh, for free uh, these are the this is like you are going to a shop and selecting the machines you want to right like what kind of machines you want uh, what hardware configuration do you want how many CPU you want it has two CPUs like uh, this is the memory size right it has 16 GB uh, okay I'll create a free tire one general portfolios review and launch these things is what you need to do right and uh, there are other things like uh, security groups you can create a groups uh, so that uh, you can make it more secure uh, you can create uh, uses so that uh, you can set who can access to this uh, instance and there are so many things but here we will just try to create a simple t2 micro instance that will be running on Ubuntu machines right okay I'll do the launch okay Mm, so it will ask you to create a new key pair right so this is for the security purpose and if I have a key then I can log into this uh, systems uh, uh, like I can SSH uh, from my terminals right uh, and my s other videos I will show you how to SSH into AWS instance using SSH command right uh, I'll type my uh, let me try mm. Thora key. I'll download this because I will need this. You know, this is the file I need uh, before I want to SSH into this message. Right? I will save this. Right? I I will surely create another video uh, on how to SSH. Uh, let me launch the instance. Right? see and your instance are now launching means it will take few second or minute depending upon your internet speed I'm in this area Mumbai actually I'm near to the Mumbai so I selected this and the thing is like it's 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 obviously best to choose the server that is close to your area right
if you want you can see the log let's see initiation complete successful view instance let's see yeah it's running and the status is it's initializing right this is how you create a machine for you right in AWS uh, like if uh, this p2.micro this may not be uh, sufficient for you uh, if you are running a uh, big project uh, if you ha get a uh, heavy traffics then this will not be able to handle all your traffics right so you may need to buy some bigger machines right machines or uh, you can call it instance right people call it instance okay and you can like there are many things you can do right uh, we'll talk about that later like you can create two three you can have two three four five machines and uh, make them as a single machines or add one load balancer like if there is a high traffic then if one machine is busy it will uh, you know, grab your contents or make your systems running by providing the resource from another instance there's many things you can do right I don't know how much time it, uh, it is going to take but uh, it's kind of ready initializing loading instance it's taking a few time okay thank you like uh, in the next video or maybe yeah in the next video I'll, uh, I will show you how to SSH and to the instance right AWS instance